In this section, you will be introduced to the concept of depth of focus. It is very com uh, common to confuse depth of focus with depth of field, but actually they are quite different. We have discussed depth of field in chapter two of this course. Now we will talk about depth of focus. Depth of focus tells you how the quality of uh, the focus changes with the tip and tilt of the sensor while keeping everything in the object space the same. The effect of depth of focus magnifies when using low F numbers. You need to realize that uh, there will always be some degree of misalignment between the imaging lens and the sensor. What a good lens designer needs to know is that how much of this tilt can be tolerated while maintaining acceptable level of performance. So obviously it has a strong dependence on the light gathering capability of the lens. So the F number and the numerical aperture, as well as the sensor size and the number of active pixels on the sensor. Let's see how this sensor tilt affects the performance of an imaging system. The first curve here uses an f2.8 lens, while the second one uses a f5.6 lens. Now that you know how to interpret MTF curves, it is trivial to realize that the first lens performs much better across all spatial frequencies. And note that both the curves are obtained where no sensor tilt is present. Now we will see how introducing sensor tilt affects the performance of an imaging system. These two semi-vertical lines represent the sensor tilt. The yellow and red uh, ray bundles represent one line pair on the sensor. You can see in the F2.8 system, there's quite a bit of overlap of the ray bundles at 12 and a half microns and even more on 25 micron. So this still significantly affected the performance of the f2.8 lens. It now spans two pixels. But if you look at this lens, the f.56 lens, the two ray bundles are still within one pixel and there's no overlap. And now these are the MTF curves when there's a 0.32 degree image tilt. In this case, the f5.6 lens uh, shows superior performance. To make sure your system performs well, higher tolerance control and uh, maybe some kind of active adjustment of sensor tilt need to be utilized.